Citroen Relay, four berth, family camper, three beds, gas free, boshed it. Hello, my name is Ryan and I'm from Vanny Campus and I'm here once again to give you a fantastical van tour. Before we go ahead with that, I would just like to say, please like, subscribe and comment and we will pick three people from the comments who make us laugh, make us smile, whatever it is, to win 50 pounds website credit on vannycampers.co.uk so you can potentially win a camper like this. So guys, get interacting. Today is Dory. Dory is a Citroen Relay 2.2 litre diesel. We've got the rugged wheels, we've got the Rhino roof rack, we've got the nice light bar on the front, and we've also got a four berth camper inside. We've got double beds, two singles, and we've got belted and seating for four people. The van itself is also gas free, no gas on board, nice and safe, but we've got obviously a lot of electricals to make up for that. Let's go and have a little gander. first thing we're going to look at is this beautiful living area for living. It's great, it's spacious, it's lovely, it's cosy, it's everything you would want in a camper. The defining feature of this space is the four belted seats. We've got the twin bench seat there, both with belts, and we've also got the twin swivel seats for the mummy and daddies. So you've got the little, little sprogs in the back, the mummy and daddy characters in the front, all traveling very nicely, very comfortable, very safe. We've got a table here which pulls out. This is an oak top table and it stores away nicely in the garage as well for when you're in transit. And the leg there, you can chuck that above or in the back as well. The other thing about this area is we've got the lovely side window. This obviously opens up, so on a nice day in the morning, you can be sat here looking out, looking at the beach or whatever you're doing. And then you've also got the roll down curtain as well, which is pretty much blackout. We've tried it, it's pretty much there. Then obviously we've got storage. So you've got the three above one of those units housing the electricals, which we'll go into later. And above the cab as well, you've got all that storage as well, which they've beautifully designed. The cab area itself is a classic van. The steering wheels, the gear stick, all that kind of stuff going on, what you would expect from a vehicle. Last thing to mention is the 240 sockets down below right there, perfectly placed for this dining living seating area. And you've also got a 12 volt in there as well. So you can bosh all your bits and bobs in and get them on charge. Speaking of a Leckies, let's go and have a look at the system. Leckies, let's talk some sparticles. So to my right here is this little cupboard. And inside we've got all the controls for the electrical system. The system on board is very robust. It's a very, very high spec system as well. There's a Victron system. We've got 230 amp hour Roman lithium battery. Uh, there's a 200 watt solar panel on the roof to bring in those rays. There are three ways to charge this van. You've obviously got the electrical hookup. You've got when you're driving and you've also got the solar above. We've also got the MPPT solar controller, which you can link in with your Bluetooth and get all those kind of, the, all the data data of what's happening with your power and when, which is a nice bit of kit to have. And we've also got the multiplicity inverter. So that means with this system, you can pretty much do 240 off grid. The timing on the battery, I don't know how long that would last, depending on what you're using. Obviously it's going to fluctuate, but with that inverter, you can effectively be fully off grid and be using your 240 system. I mean, you could in theory have a microwave on the go, your laptop over there in a kettle. Not that you would do that because your battery would pretty much go like that but the option is there. The split charge system is the DC to DC charger. Again, it's the Victron PC kit, great. What it does, that one, is it will put the power where it needs to go. So you've got your leisure battery in the rear and you've got your vehicle battery in the front. Whichever battery needs that power, that, that DC to DC charger will, will put that power where it needs to be. So looking at the cupboard itself, I'll just talk you through all the components here. So firstly, we've got the switch, so you can put the power to the hob, because obviously there's an electrical hob in this system. So you can put the switch to the hob, or you can put it onto the sockets. You will have to turn your inverter on, which is here, for that process. We've also got the Victron Smart Shunt battery monitor that is here. Lovely piece of kit which you can link up and it's nice to see how much you've got and what's coming in. Really, really cool piece of kit. 
And then here we've got your heat control. What's a really nice addition to this van is the Bubble water and heating system. Ed, we love you. He's a great guy. If you haven't seen Bubble vans, go and check them out and go and check out their heaters because they are the best in the UK. That is our opinion. So this is a nice little smart controller here. You can set the temperature of the water and the air. You can have both on. You can have it on a timer to start when you're, let's say you're out walking, you come back to the van, you can have it all heated, ready for your return. Really, really nice piece of kit. And it's very simple to use, which is kind of an issue that we've seen previously uh, with a lot of diesel heaters. You get the Chinese ones, they're quite complicated and a bit fiddly. Ed, I think, has smashed it with this piece of kit. And we highly recommend if you do want one, we will put a, put a link below for that one as well lastly but not leastly is the max air fan obviously the classic pulls air in takes air out very very good piece of kit to utilize for temperature control it's very very good and highly recommend that anyway that is enough electricals very interesting stuff like i said before please leave us a comment with any any questions and your feedback as well what do you think of the system we'd like to know is it something you've put in would put in would not put in tell us why i'm getting a little bit peckish how about you bosh kitchen here we are lovely the heart of the van as it were so this kitchen is amazing it's functional i think it's a really nice space the way they've done it is called a p-shaped kitchen because you've got the sink to the one side and then you've got your main kind of workspace to the left here and we've also got the flappy bit on the end to make it even longer which you can use you know if you're entertaining maybe there's a bit a little bar out the side door really, really good space even with the door shut plenty of space that doesn't interfere with the living room as well really really nice design we love it the cupboard doors and the worktops are solid oak they've used osmo oil to really finish it off and it does look beautiful it, it creates a nice kind of earthy vibe to the van which i love we've got the the tiled splash back here and we've got the deep blue i personally requested these colors for this van because i thought we'd mix it up by having the dark blue walls to give a kind of cozy vibe because it's a winter van for our competitions loads of space in between in the, all the cupboards we've got the 50 liter fridge as well 12 volt 240 two-way fridge can't go wrong with that you can have it running on the way to do it to your destination and then once you plug in if you're going to a campsite or if you're off grid you just leave it running at 12 volt and keep all those things nice and chill so the sink, we've got the lovely gold tappage with the kind of removable shower head, which is a nice touch when you're washing up. And also the sink itself is the metallic black deep dish sink. It's very deep. You can get a lot of stuff in there. What I do when I go camping in my camper is I'll use some bits and bobs and I'll put them in the sink and then just close it and then you can wash it up later, which is quite nice to keep the place tidy. And this sink uh, makes it possible to do that as well. We also have the nice little shelf here. We've popped it with some plants and some electrical candles but this would be nice for space for some spices things bits and bobs used in the kitchen we've obviously got your 240 sockets your 12 volt and then here you've got your lights and your water pump on the gold faced switches which is nice it's a nice touch it's a bit of bling i think the lights below in the evening are really really cool so when you're sat and the sun's going down you can have the low kick lights on and it does create a really nice atmosphere in here really nice to show it off to people when people walking by we've had a few looks it's lovely it's nice to get that bit of tension in it the main feature of this van though is this gas free hob it is a nice touch to have no gas on board although you are using more power it's a safety feature which you know if you've got little tiny people on board it is just no risk and it's kind of peace of mind which i think is a really nice touch and we are seeing a lot more builders go that way as well because you don't have to have a gas test as well it's a lovely feature and yeah we recommend this one itself is a van go twin hob uh link below have a look check it out let us know what you think as well is your van gas free would you go gas free or do you just love that gas in your system let us know anyway i'm getting a little bit sweaty and i can feel a turd come in so let's go to the bathroom area the shower area the bathroom the be not the boudoir the toilet so this is the bathroom area as you can see 
it is cozy, but it is functional and it is doable. Um, if I do a little kneel down here, look, you can sort of see the spacing. There is a poop lops that I've sat on. It is a cassette toilet. Um, and then what they've done is quite nice is, is boxed it in here. So you can kind of use it as a seat. You can have a, you can actually, I think personally, I would have that on doing a little sit down shower, but you don't have to do that. You can stand and it is fine. There is enough space. And the shower itself is the nice gold effect. Same as the sink outside, which kind of ties in also with the uh, the plugs and switches as well. It's a nice touch. That shower, it does have the mixer and it is hot and cold, okay? Um, which I think is a kind of necessity if you're going to be off grid. Nice hot shower in the morning, get you all fresh, ready for the day. Above here, we have a little skylight as well with the blind and it's also got the fishnet blind as well. So you can have it open and use that as ventilation in the van generally. Um, it's nice to be able to look at the stars whilst washing your pits, or at least I think so. And then down here as well, there is a little shelf for your little bits and bobs. And then the, the water itself uh, drains off out into the water tank. Uh, which is underslung as well. Very, very nice little area. The the Rico uh, wall lining as well. These are really, really nice, very lightweight and very stylish. These are, uh, yeah, just a really nice piece really. And it's kind of, it's kind of finishes off this room, which is a lovely touch. Um, but I'm all nice and clean now. So I think I might go and have a little lay down. How about it? the boudoir, the bedroom, where the magic happens. Mm. So this is the double bed. There are three beds in this camper, two singles and uh, one double. We'll have a look at those in a second, but this double is 120 wide. And what they've done is they've created the alcoves either end. So it is 192 centimeters, which is a lovely space. I think it's a nice size for two people. Personally, I have got a similar bed in my camper is well cozy. And although you are close to the ceiling, it's actually, it's not, unless you are really claustrophobic, I don't think it's an issue at all. It's a really nice space. And it's very cozy in keeping with the whole van as it is. We've also got the skylight here with the classic, the blind and the fishnet blind as well, which is good. And it's nice to have that access to the, to the outside. And also it's literally perfect to stargazing. We have also a mirror and a couple of coat hooks there for your robes, your nightgowns, or even your night cap. You've also got the touch lamp at the end of the bed. And there is one of those situated downstairs in the single cab. It looks like a bit of a squeeze, but it's actually fine. I have personally taken a nap in there a couple of times. The third bed is the cab bunk. The thing about this van is you are trying to maximize all that space. So it is not the best bed in the world, but it is a bed and it is adequate. I've laid on it, I've tested it out, and it's absolutely great. It does the job. And to be fair, the fourth person is probably the person that you like least. So put them on the cab bunk. That's what I'd do. But that's enough about the bedroom. Let's have a look at the garage area. Oh, oh, ah, never gets easier. It is efficient though. So the garage area. This van is a four berth, like we said, it's got the three beds. So people may think there's not gonna be much storage space. They think wrong. There is loads in here. As you can see, I'm seated in here. So there's lots of space. Here behind me is where we put the tabletop, as we mentioned earlier. So that fits nicely here to store away. We've also got some extra storage space here. And behind me here is where we keep all the gubbins for the electrical. Behind there, you've got your water heater, your battery. You've also got your 12 volt fuses in there as well. And a few other bits and bobs very accessible and it's also very nicely painted so it's very it looks very clean very tidy it's really really nice you've also got the extra shower which is really nice for those pups or mucky friends really nice touch to have that the big feature of this garage is the victron multi plus is an absolute beast so this is your whole split charge system it does everything that we mentioned earlier a very expensive but worthy piece of kit. Please see the link below. We do have one there. We highly recommend looking at it. If you, can, if you can afford one of those, definitely get one. So that is the garage area. There is nothing more to say uh, on this part of the van apart from we love it, as we do with the rest of the van. Um, 
I think the last thing to look at is upstairs. So let's go and have a little look on that roof whack. So here we have the upstairs on this beast of a campo. We have the Rhino roof rack, which is a cracking piece of kit. What I do like about this is you could actually board this up and make it into a terrace. They've missed a the trick there. Maybe next time. We've also got the 200 watt solars and we've got your max air fan there and your two skylights as well. And you've also got your light bar and downstairs we've got those rugged wheels. It really does add into this, this the exterior, that beast of a van. Guys, I think that's about all, isn't it? Please comment. We're going to pick three people to win some website credit on vannycampers.co.uk because you can win a van like this. Go and check it out. My name's Ryan. You've been absolutely beautiful. I shall see you next time. Bosh!